my Twins, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So this week I did a thing. I'm super excited about it. Yeah, let's just roll that clip. As you can see here, I have a fish tank and some substrate. I am getting a new fishy. This vlog is not gonna feature the entirety of me building this tank and stuff because I want to do a video on that by itself. But just know that I'm getting a fishy to go in this tank. We will hopefully see that next week or the week after, but soon. This actually isn't the finished tank. I'm still waiting on a couple more things, but yeah, we'll see all that soon. I also went and walked around one of my favorite parks to walk around. I won't show much of that because I've shown it before, but this is that park and it is so beautiful and it's so cool to walk around and just look at all the fishies and the ducks and stuff. Also, they have the absolute best Pokemon and there's so many Pokemon there, so that's one of the huge reasons we go, but the fishies and the ducks are awesome too. work on Sterling's new hide. I've mentioned in the past that I absolutely hate his guinea pig igloo that he uses and I've been wanting to replace it for a while so I decided just to make him one. I didn't finish it because I ran out of grout and this one is going to have to be 100% grouted and sealed and everything so I don't want any kind of mold or anything to happen in it. So I am in the process of that but I got a lot done on it and I'm super happy with how it's turning out so far. I am starting off with a whole bunch of styrofoam and dog kisses, I guess. First, we're going to plan how this is going to work. Just ignore all the muddy dog footprints in my floor. It's been storming for days. Anyway, I was super excited about getting to use my foam cutter again. And this one, we're actually just going to keep tracing the very first cutout that we did and cutting it out over and over again because we want this to be a nice big roomy hide. And then as I get on up in the layers, I'm actually going to start tracing it a little bigger each time because we want to make kind of a lip on top because that piece of wood that's always in Sterling's tank, he always knocks it over. So we just want to give it a nice sturdy place to sit so he can lay on top of it and not have to worry about tumbling down. So this is how thick it ended up being. Snakes generally like really tight spaces to hide in, but like I've said before, Sterling's favorite space is that giant igloo, so I wanted to make sure that he had enough room, and this is how big it's gonna be. We're also gonna just throw a couple of pieces on top so it's not flat square on top, and then I can just start hot gluing everything together so we can start grouting. I'm hot gluing everything except for the very top big piece and the two little pieces that go on top of that because I'll need to carve this whole thing out to be a hide on the inside. This was not easy to carve out because my carving stick thing wasn't long enough so I kind of had to do this layer by layer and you can't really see between the layers so it took a little extra time and effort but eventually I got it. And then I cut out the opening for him to go into the hide. And then I'm just taking the actual wire cutter and smoothing out the edges. And then when I was satisfied with everything, I hot glued those last three pieces on. If you see my phone, I was actually watching Dave's Exotics live stream. He is a super sweet kid. You should definitely go check him out. But yeah, that's what's going on there. But then I just grouted it and ran out of grout. But this is the basic gist of what it's going to look like. Like I said, I ran out of grout and I still need to paint it and shellac it to seal everything in because it's gonna need to be waterproof. But this is the shape of what it's gonna look like and it's gonna stay really smooth like this. I'm not gonna put that rough texture like I do for the lizards. Random animal glyphs. Because... 
Winter is so cute. He has gotten so beautiful and he's grown so much. Look how thick his tail has gotten. It is now officially the same size as his body. But he does this really weird thing where he comes out to his tank and just closes his eyes. I feel like he thinks that because he can't see me, I can't see him, but he does this quite often. And then we have Morty. You can see here that he is completely 100% asleep, but he loves to dig so much that he just wakes up from that sleep and immediately starts to dig again. Someone recently asked me about how Goliath's plants are doing. It was super dark in this room when I filmed this, but you can kind of see the ones in the front there have grown in a little bit, but that's basically the only growth from that tank. Dexter's tank, on the other hand, has basically overgrown. Like, look how big this plant in the front is, and even his croton plant has started to perk back up, and his bamboo is almost touching the ceiling, which is awesome. And then we have Theon, my Pac-Man frog, who is growing so fast. You can see him next to his little half log hide there, and he barely fits in it. He is having to dig deeper and deeper just to fit his body into his hide. But that's about it for this week, guys. As always, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. But that's about it for this week, guys.